what we've seen recently is just growing food insecurity. We've seen the highest number of food bank visits ever recorded in the city's history this year with 1.45 million visits to Toronto food banks. So I think that what we're seeing is it's not specific to COVID. Um, we know that food insecurity was an issue before COVID, but the pandemic has really exacerbated it. Uh, and that's why we're seeing that deepening hunger in our communities. Do we call you? Yeah, we're volunteers. Absolutely. It's better than those nasty names. <laughs> and we're proud of it. We're proud to be we volunteers. Are, yes. Absolutely. What I love about doing this is that it is an entirely different thing. So I'm away from my computer, I'm away from my phone, I'm doing something physical, and I'm giving back at a time when the numbers are so high in terms of who needs this service. So for me, this is an amazing thing that I can contribute to this. We've certainly seen um, growing wealth inequality in Canada and, and particularly in Toronto. Uh, over the course of the pandemic, we saw some of the greatest wealth accumulation in the past many decades. At the same time, we see food bank visits at their highest. So we can see that there is this huge disparity between folks who have money and resources and those who are really struggling to make ends meet. definitely feel for people who are packaging sorry, who need the food, because we could, in any circumstance, be in that same situation. Relief to know that if there was ever a need for me or for people I know, that the food bank is there for them. Are there any new findings that have come out this year in your report that you haven't seen before? Yeah, for the first time this year, new clients outnumbered existing clients at food banks. And that's really uh, an example of the impact of unemployment and underemployment that have really pushed a lot of new folks to have to come to a food bank. And we know that food banks tend to be the place of last resort. So people will exhaust other options first. Big word that's out there right now, and it's called inflation. Mm -hmm. Has that become a big thing in the past, say, six months to eight months? Inflation has become a huge challenge for people, especially food inflation. It's something that our clients are talking a lot about uh, when, when we speak to them. Um, because when you already have a very stretched budget, when you already don't have enough to make ends meet, our clients have a median of $9.17 left per person per day after paying their rent and utilities. So that's already a very limited amount of money. Now products cost more, so your money goes less far. Uh, and so that's a huge concern. It is adding that extra pressure on people's budgets.